Today we're looking at the Tornado Drop Leg Holster. Let's get started. So today we're talking about the Tornado Drop Leg Holster. Now, like the name might imply, this is a drop leg thigh holster. This is a right-handed example. They also come in left-handed configurations, though sadly they only come in black. Um, they are a adjustable, a more universal holster that is meant to be used with a variety of blasters. Uh, I'm not sure if this was designed for the nerfing community or for something like Airsoft, though it does work fine. Uh, I got this one from the Out of Dart shop for about $12. Of course, there will be a link in the description below. And I want to compare it to my blaster parts holsters. So let's hop down to the desk and to go take a look at it close up. So here we have the Tornado Drop Leg Holster. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the holster and then we'll talk about and see how well it can be used. Starting from the top, we have a very robust clip off belt. Ooh, Velcro loop with several layers holding that on. Um, right off the bat, I was very impressed by this because this is very secure for your belt. Um, of course, coming down, we have a buckle that clips, connects your belt to the holster, which comes down to a yet another adjustable Velcro, Velcro strap so you can get how far your drop is a little bit more tuned in. Um, then, of course, just to finish going over the attachment, you have these two straps on the back, which go around your thigh, um, both of which are both looped under uh, straps here and sewn to the straps, so they're very well secured, as well as, I believe, having some extra Velcro holding them in place. So, all in all, very, very secure to your leg. Um, these straps here have some rubber weaved into the webbing, which will help them not slip around on your leg, which is a feature I really like. Um, they do also have a little bit of elastic here on this end, so when you're moving and you're running, your muscles flexing uh, will not hurt your holster and you can cinch it down nice and tight. Now to the holster itself, we do have a pouch up here for either a magazine if you're running half darts or a flashlight, which is what I usually do on my gears. I like to run a flashlight on the front of one of my holsters just because it's a nice convenient place for it. Um, you then have this buckle on the top, which has varied uses. It's meant for you to close it this way so you can push down with your thumb and pop the snap. Uh, just for some extra security on your blaster. It does also have this tab on the side here, which is to pre-tension it so it will spring uh, open a little bit more depending on how you set it up. Um, that is completely vel velcroed in place and can be removed. It's just a little bit of a pain, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Now onto the holster itself. You have this main, Velcro strap here, as well as some Velcro here, so you can do your overlap and adjust to your blaster. On the inside, you also have a adjustable kind of floor strap here, which you simply Velcro across the bottom like that as you put it together. So as far as construction goes, I am very, very pleased. This thing is very well put together. The stitching is pretty nice. There's a couple moments where uh, you can tell it's hand done, not machine done like here, where this isn't perfectly square. It's more of a trapezoid. Um, and then some of the corners on the stitching are not perfect 90 degree angles. Um, and then you get a few ugly moments like the end of that strap, um, but that could have happened if this example sat out in the sun and just the bit of that nylon melted. Um, very minor uh, 
kind of value and quality complaints to me at least uh, you can see there's a little occasional string that gets stuck in the velcro but overall nothing to actually complain about it's very well put together the buckles are a nice plastic they're very sturdy um, everything seems to be pretty much two inch or inch and a half inch webbing when it comes to attaching it the velcro is nice and sturdy construction is great um, so now it comes to usability and I'm just gonna pull things off the wall and we'll try to get them fitted so let's start with my standard a sweet revenge and I think yeah I sent that down too tight so we're gonna start by opening her up and sitting in our blaster which sure we'll have sit about there we'll get our floor strap Ooh, our floor strap done and then wrap oh that's a problem uh <laughs> I ran into this earlier. Uh, this flap isn't quite long enough to reach over and actually secure around a lot of blasters, which you'll see more as we go. So then you're stuck with just this bit coming over and securing there. Uh, so there's Sweet Revenge. It'll fit just fine. Um, let's try the slightly more standard. How about a hammer shot? Uh, this, of course, is my highly painted, still from my old weird holsters, hammer shot, which if we leave it on our sweet revenge setting, it doesn't quite fit. Um, that's fine, it's adjustable. Let's open it up and seat in our hammer shot. And, oh, we've got maybe three quarters of an inch of Velcro attachment there. And our blaster's kind of hanging out. Um, that's not good. Um, what else can I try? Uh, ooh, how about some new hotness? The uh, Grass Snake version two. Uh, okay, all right, so it'll fit in the hammer shot setup. Let's pull this out. Get this, okay. It looks like we're gonna go around just the end barrel here. Um, that'll fit, I guess doesn't feel very secure. Let me see if I can pinch this down more. Nope, that's about as tight as I can go there. Um, yeah, that's a little tight. And this is something I've seen in all most of the blasters I've tested. I think the one blaster that I would consider holstering that fits in this comfortably is Right, so my magpie, I believe, likes this holster. Um, it's a little, it's a little tight. Um, though, we'll say the magpie does actually make use of this feature. So it likes my hand cannon magpie. Um, that's about it, to be honest. Uh, you can, I can run a Sweet Revenge in this holster, but it feels like this is what I'm gonna have to leave this holster for, um, which is fine, especially if you uh, only run something uh, small and slim like the Magpie, this could work just great for you. But this is my complaint with the holster. Uh, so that's my really complaint with the holster is it's a little small and doesn't fit a lot of the more standard blasters uh, in our hobby. Now let me make a quick comparison to a blaster parts holster. So let me give an overview of one of my blaster parts holsters just for a comparison. This is the smaller size of the blaster parts holster, um, which they... Um, they advertise for hammer shots and strong arms uh, by name, and then they have their medium large one, which is uh, advertised for holding things like stripes. Though apparently that one can also hold hammer shots. Um, if you want me to see, if you want to see a comparison of the small to the large blaster parts holster, let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to pick one up. So starting in the same place, we have a similar buckle attached 
belt uh, loop. This is just a single bit of Velcro and um, only loops over once, though I have found it to be perfectly satisfactory. Um, often I will actually run this where this side is facing outwards, so the actual sandwiched bit is up against my body and a little bit more secure. Uh, also, talking about um, retention, they, we also we have two straps over the back, which clip around your thigh. Um, they have elastic by this side of the buckle. They do not have the rubber weaving in the strap, which I liked on the Tornado holster, um, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, one thing that the uh, this holster does have are little elastic retention deals for the ends of these, which is a very nice feature, so you're not slapping yourself just walking with straps. Coming around, we have another uh, pouch, uh, obviously, modeled off of a pistol magazine pouch. It fits my flashlight just perfectly and will even fit a Talon magazine and like it, which is bigger than the one on the Tornado holster. So if you run uh, magazine fed pistols, this works. Now coming around to the main event. Blaster Parts Holster does have a button over the top retention bit. Um, I've taken mine off this holster at the moment simply because I find it doesn't do a lot for my Sweet Revenges or Hammer Shots because I leave them primed and there's not much for it to catch on. But just so you know, it's a very similar piece um, that is usually here. So I guess now we should go through some blasters and let's start with something ridiculous like ugh, an Ultra 4. Um, this is, of course, my modified Ultra 4 that I'm working on, so if you want to know what all is going on here, there's not a video yet, but uh, when there is, there'll be a link in the description of this video. So uh, first off, we actually got to put over our first section here, put up our base plate, then we're going to fold this section over, and we get a lot of Velcro coverage there. Then close that section, and finally put these straps over. Oh. And that was easy. That, that lives in there just fine and dandy. Let's try something a little more common. Let's go back to my hammer shot. Again, Pulling open all this Velcro is nice and easy to do on the fly. Set in your hammer shot, pull it over, lay that down, pull this over, fold that over, and look at that nice and secure. Uh, now at this point I could keep going, running through different blasters, um, but I think this a strong uh, hammer shot, sorry, is enough of a standard that we get the point this holster will carry and like it just about anything. Um, sadly, the Tornado holster doesn't. So, let me wrap up this video. So the Tornado drop like holster, I, I like it. Uh, it's very well made. I really like the construction on this. It's very stout. However, the one problem I have, again, is with the small holster size itself and that there's only the one um, Velcro section holding it all together. Uh, especially when compared to the Blaster Parts holsters, which are only a few dollars cheaper, I find this a hard purchase to justify just because a few more dollars get you what seems to be a more adaptable and more usable product, as well as one that's a little more secure when you're actually running around and playing. That being said, of course, this one is a little bit cheaper, so if you're trying to save a couple bucks and you think this one will work for you, then that works just fine. Um, I'd never want to tell someone what they should get or what they, how they should spend their money, but if you want my opinion, I would stick with the Blaster Parts holsters. 
Hi guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm sorry it's been a bit since my last video. I've had a hectic couple of weeks uh, with lots of different projects and lots of work to do, but hey, I, I'm back. Uh, this video came out on a Wednesday. I'm going to try to make Wednesdays my new update day. I'm trying again to hit two videos a week, though I don't know how well that's gonna come through given that the next two weeks are gonna be hectic too, so we'll see. That being said, if you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. Uh, I really hope you enjoy my content. I really enjoy making this content for you guys. If you want a little bit more, again, go check out my Instagram, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.